Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful seed beads pinwheel earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. In this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support guys and I can't thank you enough for this one. You could also check description for full list of materials linked to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook page and a lot of work goes here in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads, white, yellow, orange, red and black. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up here are 12 of these beautiful seed beads. Okay, I have 12 of them and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm making one more knot and I have this beautiful loop of beads here guys and what I'm going to do next is to go through some beads in this direction And I'm going to pick up one white, three yellow and one white beads. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, I will skip one and I will go through the following white. So here is what I have. Then I'm going to repeat this. One white, three yellows, one white. I skip one and I go through the following. Then again, one white, three yellows, one white, five beads in total. Skip one and go through the following. Five again. Five again. And when I take the last five beads, I go in the first white where I started my knot from. And I pull. And now this is what I have. Okay, now in my next step, what I want to do is to go here through the white and through the yellow, exiting next to the one that is sticking out the most, the middle one of the five beads that I have here. Here I'm going to take five beads, I skip the central one and I go through the next. I take one black bead and I go here in the yellow one, which is next to this that is sticking out the most. 
Okay, the first yellow counting from the center. And I take five beads. Skip this central one here. And I pull one black go in the first yellow five yellows skip the central one and go through the following one black go in the first yellow and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row here I have five skip the central one go through the following take one black And pay attention here at my last step where I go through the first yellow like I did before. Don't make the mistake to go through the second or third yellow. I was doing this mistake when I was a beginner. Then what I want to do is go through the next two yellow beads. Okay guys, and now what I want to take here are five of those beautiful orange beads and as I'm exiting from this yellow I skip the one that is sticking out the most and I go through the following then I take yellow black yellow and I go here through this yellow which is next to the middle one that is sticking out the most and I have this I take five orange beads I skip here the central one and I go through the following Again, I take yellow, black, yellow, go in the same place through the third yellow bead counting from the center. Five. Skip the center and go through the next one. Then three. And go here and I will continue these guys until the end of this row five orange yellow black yellow five orange yellow black yellow and when I'm up to here I'll be back if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video from this part and repeat it one more time from here okay see you in a while okay and here I am guys at my last step and you see where I go through the third yellow counting from the center and I add yellow black yellow okay and now this row is ready now what I want to do is go through these two orange beads and I'm going to add an orange three reds and an orange I skip here the top one and I go through the following orange now what I need to add here are two orange beads and one red bead 
and I'm going here in the central black bead. Then one red and two orange beads and go in the second orange counting from the center or next to the bead that is sticking out the most. What I need next is one orange, three red beads and one orange. I skip here the center and I go through the next orange. Then two orange beads and one red go in the central black one. Then one red, two orange beads and go in this orange. Orange, three reds, orange. Skip the central one and go through this. Two orange beads, one red. And one red, two orange. Go here in the second orange. And I will continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I need my last red and two orange beads and pay attention where I go. I go through the second orange counting from the center. Don't do the mistake to go through the third one. Okay then what I do is that I go in this direction and my goal is to go through these three red beads that I have here at the edge. Now what I want to take here are six red beads and I'm going to slide those down just like this. And I'm going to skip one and go through two beads. Okay, now I have this. So I'm skipping the first one and then go through two. Then I need three red beads. And what I want to do is to go here in this red one and also in the black one after that. You see what I have. And I pull. Go here in the red one. Here guys, I'm going to take five of those beautiful red beads and as I'm exiting from this red I will go through all of the three red beads after that. Then what I need are six beads again. Six of them. And I'm going to slide those down. I will skip this one that's on my way and I'm going through the next two beads. Okay, this is what I do and I pull. Then I need three red beads. And I'm going here in the red and in the following black one. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I want to go through the red one as well. Okay. 
I'm taking five beads again and I go through these three beads. Okay, I have this and I want to take six beads. slide all of those down skip the last one and go through the through these two beads then what i need are three seed beads three red beads and i go through the red and through the black Okay, go here after this red one, take five beads go through these three at the top Take six red beads, slide those down, skip one and go through the next two reds. And I take three, go through the red and through the following black. then also through the following red okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row here first i add five then six skip one and go through two then three and i will continue this until the end and i'll meet you here at the last step okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last five beads from this row okay now this is what i have and i want to make an additional row guys to make my work straighten up okay and how i do this i go through all of those beads just like this next to this part that is sticking out then i'm going here through these two red ones And I'm going to take just one black bead and then I go through the third red bead counting from the center one two three this is the third one if your work is bending at the end it might mean several things one is that you use a, let's say monofilament instead of soft nylon thread and the other one is that you might have small difference of the beads that you are using. Let's say they are all 11 now, but if they are from different lots or brand, one could be larger and the other could be smaller. And that's why it might be bending at the end. Okay, now I'm doing the same thing. I'm going through these two beads after the part that is sticking out. Take just one black and I go through the third red bead counting from the center in my next element. Then I go through all of the beads like I did before in order to reach this part that is sticking out. Then I don't go through it, I skip it and I go through the following two beads. Okay, and I take one black bead 
and again I go through the third red bead counting from the center okay and I will repeat this three more times if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video see the steps and repeat them see you in a while okay guys and I'm almost at the end of my pinwheel earrings and now I'm going here in the same place like I did before okay now I have this What I want to do in my next step is go through this bead, which is one of the three that I added first before I add this part and this part. This is the first one of those three. Then I'm going to take five black beads. Okay, five of them. And after that, I'm also going to take my earring finding. And as I'm exiting here, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the next bit. And after that I pull. Then what I want to do is to reinforce this joint and then cut my thread. And how I do this, I go in this direction. just like this and like this and like this okay guys so now this is what I have and what I need to do next is to make a loop here and cut my thread to make a loop after that a knot and then cut my thread so what I do is that I go twice through this loop that I've made here then I pull and I go through some beads in this direction and then I'm going to cut my thread Okay guys, and now my pinwheel colorful earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and also click the, be the bell button to get the notification for the new videos. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. I can't thank you enough for this, guys. So, and you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check down there in description. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.